Good morning, everybody. I was just in the chat and I was like, oh my gosh, I about missed the start of the live because I was answering everybody. Hello, hello. Uh, Teresa Noble is making me laugh. That was what caused me to be late. Uh, she said that she's embarrassed at how many Simon Says Stamp and Lawn Farm orders that she made this last week, which I think is hilarious and so funny. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, March 4th, 2022. It's actually my oldest son's birthday today. He um, took a trip to Florida, so he's not here. We celebrated a little early, and then I'm making him his favorite dinner when he gets home. Uh, but he was off to see a friend, and so it is his birthday. My oldest who made me a mama. Um... I'm really excited. We're going to do some color layering cards today with one of my very favorite sets from the Hero Arts Spring Catalog, but we're actually going to kind of mish, mash, is that how you say it? A whole bunch of products and manufacturers and things together, which is my favorite way to create a card. Um, and we're just going to kind of play with a whole bunch of different things. Why do I always have something there? Um, and just have... A little bit of fun this morning so I hope everyone has had a great week I've kind of had a slow week at least like on social and behind the scenes I've had quite a bit more um, just a quick update I know if you've been around I had injured my knee at the very beginning of February it's been about a month now and uh, it's doing a lot better. I go to physical therapy twice a week and I have to do a whole bunch of at home things, but I went yesterday and I'm really improved. So yay, uh, no surgery. It doesn't look like, so I'm super, super happy about that. Hello everyone. I see so many of you coming in. I'm so excited to see so many today. Um, oh, Kelly says it's one of her aunt's birthdays. That is awesome. And she made her a card with the Simon Says Stamp box card and the Concord and Ninth Hot Air Balloon. Oh, I bet that is so pretty. I love that. Oh, you forgot to take a picture. Maybe she'll take one and send it to you. I would love that. Oh, thank you guys for the birthday wishes for Brendan. I will tell him. Okay, let's see. Oh, good. All Things Splendid says first time making the chat. Um, I know it has been a little slow as far as like new cards and things this week from me, but today I do have a new video and we're kind of playing off of that because the video, the edited video on my channel that went up here about an hour ago is part of the all to new March release blog hop and it's all about color layering and creating quick and easy cards. So I know um, I hear from some of you every once in a while that coloring is not your thing or maybe it's you're still working on it and you really love the color layering stamps or maybe you just love color layering stamps. I do too. So I did a video kind of showing how you can create some fun projects with color layering. Color layering stamps are probably one of my favorite things. I think they're brilliant because it makes everyone look like an artist. Um, so really fun. And I thought we'd have a little play off of that video, which I do have linked down below. Um, if you're interested and definitely leave comments on all the stops on that hop, as well as my blog for chances to win prizes from Altenew. Uh, but we're going to be using some Hero Arts color layering, the cherries, which are my favorite, and we're going to combine them with some other things. So I am going to switch the camera around. Oh, Anna says she just watched it. Thank you, Anna. Let me see. Good morning, Diane. So these are the cards we're going to make today. It's just the same card, but I'm going to show you some kind of fun things that I think are fun anyway. I hope you guys do too. We're going to be combining Mama Elephant or Hero Arts. Mama Elephant is the tag. Mama Elephant die was also used to make my little like tablecloth. Um, Lawn Fawn for the basket. Tim Holtz Distress Spray for the background. And then I'm going to show you my favorite scoring technique that I learned from my friend Lori Willison. She does it all the time and I love it. Um, and it's just kind of mixing and matching a bunch of things together. I did a card with the Lawn Fawn basket using the strawberry dies from Lawn Fawn, but I wanted to show how, and I colored all of those. I wanted to show how you could take some color layering images and use it with those as well. Plus, 
Hero Arts does have strawberries, color layering strawberries, if you wanted to use those too. Really quick, I am going to show you my all to new cards that are in the other video. This is the cat card. This is actually for my son. I'm taking care of his cats while he's gone, so I'm going to leave this in his apartment. Um, but he loves cats, but these are color layering, which was super quick and easy to put together and really fun. Then there's the tree of fantasy. I'm probably, I hope I got that right, but it's this beautiful color layering tree, and I just kind of created this little quick, easy scene. And then there is the botanical bookmark set, which creates these beautiful layered uh, letters for bookmarks, cards, all of that good stuff. Luna says, I've got a quick question. Is Nina 80 pound enough for die cutting? It is. I usually use the 110 pound, but I used 80 for years and years and years. Oh, thank you, Debbie J's Crafting Corner. All right, I'm going to move my all to new cards out of the way. Yes, Patricia says she's been debating the cherry set and glad to see it used. I love it. Um, it was one that I didn't use in my Hero Arts Spring Catalog video, but I really wanted to. It just kind of didn't fit into what I was doing that day. And so it's been set aside to use for a live for a couple weeks now. <laughs> Let me see. Yes, Diane, the tree is so realistic. I really am excited to try to use it with some like scene building type of cards. So hopefully I can do that soon. We are gonna create our background first, which is this green sprayed background. I've been really addicted to doing this lately. I don't know that I have any videos up yet. I have some videos coming where I've also used distress sprays because I think it's just a really quick and easy way to give you an interesting background. So I'm gonna grab my messy plastic box that's gonna get washed out after this. And we're just gonna do one here on camera, but here's one that's dry. And I'm using the oxide sprays. You could use regular, you could combine different colors, but I am just going to spritz this a little bit. We'll set it aside to dry while we work on all the rest of the things. So you can do kind of a light coat of this if you wanted to. I want mine to be a bit more green. Oops. Well, so that's kind of what we're going to do there. And again, I'm using Rustic Wilderness for this. I'll have another video next week where I'm doing some similar type backgrounds. I'm just going to set that aside to dry. We're going to move our box out of the way to get washed out later. Yep, I, I see a lot of you are saying that you really like the 80 pound for die cutting. Oh good, Heidi says she's ca first time catching a live. I love that. So the next thing we're going to do is stamp all of our cherries. And we are going to do quite a few of them and I'm going to show you how I like to do assembly line style. Oh, I suppose I did put that misty away. Hold on. I knew there was a reason I kept it out. And then I put it away right before the live. So we are going to be stamping these cherries. This is the Hero Arts Color Layering Cherries. And I cut a bunch of them. I do have a couple of extra leftovers, but I'm gonna show you how I assembly line made a bunch of these. I figured while I had them out, I might as well do a ton. <laughs> Debbie says she wished she'd thought of that. I have so many of those plastic boxes and I kept using like, you know, leftover cardboard boxes and um, just on a whim, I was like, I should just use one of these plastic boxes. And it's so great because I can just wash it out and reuse it over and over. So it's been working really good. All right. I'm going to use some of my favorite Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Inks here. Let me see. Let's zoom out just a tiny bit. And 
and let's go ahead and move those. It, Heidi says she's always amazed when she finds the things she's been searching for in the place it belongs. Isn't that the truth? We're going to use Fairway and Field. So Field is our lightest color. We're going to start with that. Yes, plastic box works better, so much better. So I have trimmed down a bunch of four and a quarter by five and a half inch panels. I found this works well for me. So I'm stamping it up at the top. I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna do all the stems first and we're gonna just stamp it right there along the other side. And we're gonna just do this several times. You could, this is fantastic for if you have a bunch of cards. So let's say you wanna make a set of thank you cards or you wanna make a whole bunch of birthday cards or whatever it might be. This is one of my favorite ways to do that. And I simply just go through and do all of them at once. And it's pretty quick and easy. I decided to go ahead and do all of them on camera today just to kind of show you how quick you can. Let me see. Did I put the stem upside down? Oh, crud. I sure did. Hey, thanks for pointing that out. Darn it. And that's what happens when you're live. Darn, darn, darn. All right, thank you. I may have to stamp more of those later, but we're not going to today or while we're live. I wish I'd caught that comment earlier. Darn it, I should have been paying attention. Yep, okay. Luckily, I have a couple extras of those, and I can just stamp those later on. Odin, please stop. And next, let's go ahead and do the base of our cherries, which we really don't need to do for all of them, but that's okay. And I just line it up like that. And we're gonna use the new watermelon color ink for this. I will tell you part of the reason, not part of the reason, but I did think it was fun that the cherry set, we're gonna use the cherry ink here in a minute, which I think is the perf this is the perfect color combination. Yep, something always goes wrong in the lives and you know what? I just roll with it. <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't just happen in the lives. It usually happens just regularly. <laughs> but you guys don't see it because I edit it out. Honestly, there's no point in stamping all these wrong ones, so I'm just going to move it. But we will go ahead and do all of these. And we're just gonna keep stamping. I don't worry if it's not super perfect. I kind of actually prefer that a little bit. So they all look a little different, but let's see. Yes, Odin is being, he's being something this morning. <laughs> he's really wanting attention. Let me see. The inks, I know, let's see, Diane said a lot are out of stock. They will come back in stock. Just sign up to be notified for sure. I wasn't exactly sure which ones were all in stock. I kind of forgot to check. All right. Oh, I guess I didn't need to take that one out. 
let's go ahead and do our layering for our stems. It lines up so easily. I just love it. And if I had done all, oh no, that one's not the right one. We'll, we'll save that and add it here in a second. Okay, our layering color for the stems is going to be field. And I just totally grabbed the wrong one. Oh my gosh, you guys, what in the world? I caught that, thank goodness, mostly. That's what I get for reading instead of paying attention to what I'm doing. All right, layering, like so. There we go, much better. Glad I caught that before I messed up something else today. It might be one of those days. Oh my goodness, how pretty is that? So for this set, you really only need four colors. And that one's the correct one, isn't it? Nope, it's not. Which one has the right one on it? That last one? Yeah. Um, I don't have any Catherine Pooler ink, so I'm not sure if they are similar or not. Does someone else know? I'll see if anybody comments. Hello, Lori. Okay, and so for the one lone little cherry that I did not mess up, we will add that in. Happy accidents, Susie says, absolutely. Um, I noticed that Debbie was saying, telling Heidi that lives are easier because there's no editing as far as videos go, and that is true. Um, I will say, once you start editing, it is, I don't know, overwhelming. It's a lot of work. But I kind of think once you get into the habit of it, it's not, not quite as bad as you might think. It just, it's the initial uh, dive into doing edited videos. All right, let's grab our layering cherries. And we're going to just line those up. And this is gonna be the cherry colored ink. Oh, thank you, it's the little things in card making. I don't know that I do that good of a job because I've messed up already today. <laughs> oh well. You know what? Let's just go ahead and move that. There's no point in stamping it since it's wrong. It'll be a little less die cutting for us here in a minute. Which I generally don't like to do during the, my lives, but I didn't need to have so many extra cherries. So we're gonna go ahead and do it today. Okay, um, Sherry says that she thinks the Catherine Pooler inks are comparable. Karen's here too. Hello, Karen. All right. I'm going to just go ahead and wipe that clean. I believe we're done with this misty though. And I'm going to set my stamp set aside. I am going to grab my dies and I have 
this is just some leftover post-it tape from when I actually die cut all the others. I use mine up until it's not sticky anymore. But I do like to kind of temporarily tape them down in place while die cutting. And I'm sure the table is going to move. I really need to uh, straighten these back out. I've been meaning to do it for like three weeks now, and uh, I have not. And they need it badly. All right. Because they are bowed something terrible. Oh, Teresa likes the cherries. Aren't they pretty? I just love these colors together, too. I think they're really pretty. All right. Well, we got part of... I always have to vacuum when we're done because I throw a lot of things on the floor. During my lives... I vacuumed before I started, and I'll vacuum when I'm done. Laura says, how do you straighten them? Um, you can put boiling water on them. There's a video that Jennifer McGuire did that showed how to straighten them. And so that's what I've been doing. Oh, I might need some new post-it tape. That tape has seen better days. Hello, Alberto. Let me see. In fact, I think that my plates are getting straightened right after this because they are terrible. I think that moved. It did. Glad I caught that. So how has everyone's week been? I know I saw a lot of you say that you um, either have orders arriving today or you've placed orders. What have, what are the things that everybody's excited about? Mayhem Crafty Card says her cats are always walking around with little bits stuck to them. Yes. Odin came to me the other day and he had like the little backing paper from Foam Adhesive Square stuck to his nose. <laughs> it was funny. I laughed at him. Those things get everywhere. This is why I really don't like die cutting on camera. It takes forever, but that's okay. Let's see. Bunnies from Simon Says Stamp. Lawn Fawn. It looks like a lot of Lawn Fawn has been arriving this week. That's so exciting. Strawberries pop form. Pl pop form. <laughs> platform pop up. Um, Diane is replacing her flooring, so no time to craft. That does happen, but new flooring. Yay, that's exciting. And my one lone cherry that I didn't mess up. Let's go ahead and die cut that. I think it's actually going to work out. Dragonflies from Honeybee Stamps. Oh my goodness, Heidi, that's exciting. Mayhem Crafty Cards, the new saltwater taffy coming. And waiting for Lawn Fawn and Honeybee's new releases arriving today. Oh my goodness. Yes, the Honeybee release is so good too. I agree. Oh, so much of that. Sherry kind of has all those same things coming as well. Okay, let's move this out of the way. And let's not throw away our dies. That would be a problem later on.
And let's move on to our next thing. So I did do this die cutting off camera. This is the Lawn Fawn Fruit Basket. I absolutely love it. I did use it with the strawberries as I mentioned earlier. But I love, I think these cherries are the perfect size for the basket. So we're actually gonna put three of that trio of cherries in here. And I did stick them all in before gluing anything. So I could kind of play around and overlap things, kind of like that. I'm gonna move that out of the way as well. Made alive, oh good, let's see. Colorado Craft Company stamps and dies and can't stop creating with them, the Cherry Crafter says, that's awesome. Oh no, Cassie, I'm sorry that your puppy's not feeling well. That makes me sad. That's always hard when our pets are not well. Let's see. DK Sherby says, hooked on whimsy stamps lately. Kathleen says, it's pouring rain in San Diego and it's a good day to create. Yes, definitely. Trina says she got a mystery box from Spellbinders and is excited to get it. That's fun too. So basically here, all I'm doing is tucking my cherries into the basket. I'm not going to glue anything down yet. We're just gonna kind of play around with that and that gives us some room to play. Let's put these dies away though. Or they may go in the missing pile. Okay, so this little tag here is from the Mama Elephant B2B rectangles. I don't know, I think B2B is back to basics. In my mind, that's what it, it stands for. But it comes with this tag and then all these different rectangle sizes, which I love, because it kind of gives you anything you could need. And what we're gonna do is stamp some greetings on these little tags so that we end up with something like that. And I think the greetings are really, really cute. Let's see, Kelly wants to make a greetery order. Yeah, I love their stuff, it's so pretty. Let me see. Gina K, Diane says, and she received her Tailored Expressions Fern Kit. Oh, how exciting. Yes, get that flooring in so you can play. <laughs> Uh, Sherry, I don't know about anything for Lawn Fawn for Christmas yet. We're probably still a little too far out. But they do such a good job of continuing to bring out things that work with their previously releases. So I'm hopeful. So we're going to do sweet birthday wishes on one. And then we're going to grab the sweat, the sweat. How about stamp set? I'm reading sweet while I'm cleaning it. You're welcome, Cassie. So I'm hopeful. Even if Lawn Fawn doesn't come out with something, I think I will try to make something work with it. Because <laughs> I think it's really cute. I have some ideas. All right. Let's put our other tag in here. And I'm probably just going to do the same. Well, let's try this. I know this greeting is way too long, but we're going to mask off part of it and we're going to make it work. Because I kind of like this one. I think I don't need to mask yet. Let's stamp that. I hope I didn't stamp that too high up. And then we're going to clean it really good. And we're going to flip it around. Like that. 
And let's see, Debbie J's Crafting Corner Glimmer Edge Roses from Spellbinders. Oh, that's fun. I do want, I saw Diane say something about the Ukraine. Um, stay tuned on Monday, the 7th. Pink Fresh has something really cool that you might like, and it's going to go towards some fundraising there. So there's a little FYI. I'm kind of excited about that. I will have um, some examples with, with what they're going to be sharing. Let me see. And I do have some cards I'm giving away, but I know that they had trouble with adding any more cards to the giveaway, so I'm sure they're coming as soon as they're able to. And then I'm gonna add thank you right above. Sorry, I haven't been talking. I've been reading the comments, seeing what everyone's saying. Oh, Connie, thank you. Oh, you guys, that turned out cute. Okay, so thank you. That was so very sweet of you. So you can always customize your stamps if, you, if they don't exactly fit. And there's our little tags. Go ahead and move that out of the way too. I think we're actually done with that. Next up, this is my favorite thing that my sweet friend Lori Willison always does is she scores cardstock. So what I wanted to do, let's grab one of the cards so maybe you can see it because it is going to be tone on tone and hard to see. There we go. See, I did little score lines about every half inch and it just gives some nice texture to this bottom panel, almost like it's you know, um, a counter or a table or something like that. So that's what we're going to do. This is a two inch by four inch strip. Teresa, Nicole is the ultimate multitasker. Sometimes I'm not really the best multitasker, you guys. It's kind of funny. I always got used to get accused of hyper focusing. I still hyper focus. When I'm completely focused on something, I have a really hard time breaking away. So this is a score buddy, and I'm simply scoring at a half inch. If you don't have a score pal, score buddy, this is the smaller size. I have the big size too. It is invaluable. If you wanna make your own card bases and score them, if you wanna add score lines, you could also score, you know, if you wanted like on a big pan here, like on a big panel, if you wanted to do like a half inch, half inch, and then you can do like a half inch or whatever measurement you want. It just gives you that nice scored outline and it's so easy. I really, really love it. It's an invaluable tool. It's not new. Probably a lot of you already have one. Let me see. Oh, thank you, Sherry. I get my nails done. And it's nice of you to say, because I've actually had some people leaving me some really ugly comments this week. They got deleted. <sighs> um, let me see. Yes, shiplap, shiplap texture, Kelly says. Absolutely. Yes, Christine says she loves her score buddy. Okay, so next... We're gonna create our tablecloth and then we're gonna kind of put it all together. This tablecloth is a stamp, but you could also use pattern paper if you have pattern paper. Um, definitely do that. I wanted my tablecloth to be a certain color. It's gonna be the cherry positively saturated ink color. So I grabbed a favorite background. This is gonna be the Ink Blot Shop Micro Gingham background. It is so pretty and I love that it's so teeny tiny. So it's one of my favorites. Please ignore this staining. This has been here from something I did a long time ago. I have no idea how I did that. 
and it won't come clean. So it doesn't affect the stamp, but it does make it ugly. I'm gonna put a sheet of four and a quarter by five and a half inch cardstock in my Misty. Um, yes, Debbie J, you know what? Honestly, it it is, you know this too, it is part of having an online presence is that you're gonna have some of that, but it's also my choice to delete it if I don't like it. You can say ugly things about my cards, and unless it's really terrible, I don't, I, I leave it. But they also said some not so nice things about me, so I decided that they got deleted. I like to delete them before it can turn into a people, you know, an all out war <laughs> is what I call it. Oh. All right. And we have created our own gingham pattern paper. How cute is that? I love it. And you can do this in any color if you have a stamp. Gingham stamps are one of my favorites. I actually have a lot of different size gingham stamps because I just love them all. Okay, remember the Mama Elephant uh, B2B rectangles, back to basics rectangles? I hope it means back to basics because in my mind, I say back to basics. That's where our tag came from. Well, we're actually gonna take a rectangle die from here. You don't have to do this at all. You can totally take your paper trimmer or scissors, but we all probably have rectangle dies. So what I did was take a little post-it tape and we're just gonna kinda tip it at an angle. This is how I'm making my tablecloth. And you can get multiple from one little sheet like this. So then we're gonna take it over to our die cut machine or bring our die cut machine back over here. Maybe that's what we should do. Kelly says, I love gingham, it's so classic. Me too. I think gingham is always a good idea. And as we head into spring and all of like the spring ginghams, who all got like the Lawn Fawn new gingham paper pad? It's probably one of my favorites. Let me see. Then we're just, I'm gonna flip my panel around and show you how I'm gonna die cut the second one since we're doing two cards. But there's plenty left here. You can just kind of cut this off or be creative. Let's say you cut it kind of here. You could probably get three of these tablecloths from one sheet. Heidi, background stamps are one of my favorite things. Yes, it's picnicky for sure, Christine. Let me see. Yes, Christine said she got that paper pad. I figured I bet a lot of you did. Let's see, Kelly says she got one of them but already knows she's gonna have to order more. I felt the same way. I used so much of that plaid gingham-ish paper. I love it. Okie dokie. Let's grab our backgrounds. Let's move that out of the way. So we're gonna just put together two of these backgrounds here. They are already trimmed down to four by five and a quarter. That's gonna leave us with a nice white border all the way around. And we're gonna take our little shiplap border and adhere it along the bottom edge. This is a great card for mass producing. I think it would also make a really fun gift set if you wanted to make up a bunch of them and give them as a gift. Rebecca says she ordered two of the gingham and she's kicking herself for not getting more of the snowflake. Oh my gosh, me too. I even had, I thought I had plenty, but I have used up like every single bit of that snowflake paper almost. I'm so mad at myself. I hope next year's is, is as good. <laughs> 
because I love it. I'm with you. Uh, yes, there's two new paper packs from Lawn Fawn, part of their spring release. And I like both of them, and they work together really nicely. It's just I'm such a sucker for gingham or plaid. We're, and I did make my tablecloth a little bit bigger. So we'll just snip off the excess and ignore how the back of that looks. And there is our cute little background. So next, I am going to grab my baskets of cherries. And let's just kind of see how that looks. You can make, I just want to make sure any adjustments are made before I glue this down. I want to make sure my cherries are all in the basket. And then, this is what I did. Let me take that pin out of my mouth. I am going to just put liquid glue all over the back. I probably should have got press and seal, also a tip from my friend Lori Willison, but I forgot, so we're going to go with this for today because then I would have it would all stay put. Lori will be like, "Yes, you should have." And we're just going to sit it right here. Oh, Odin's going to snore now. First he was being noisy, and now he's going to snore and still be noisy. And there's our little basket of cherries. And I'm going to do that for just a second. And we're going to grab a length of twine. This is some May Arts twine. I literally have had this roll forever, and I still have so much left. And we're just, before that glue is all the way dry, because I'm sure there's some glue back behind. That might not, it might need some more. We're going to just kind of thread this around one of our cherry stems. Grab a little tag. And we're going to tie it right to there. Kind of a fun way to add a sentiment. I like that it's tied to the cherry. And then we're just going to snip off these ends. All right, let me see. Denise says she's late to the party. That is okay. There's always the replay. Yes, and Lawn Fawn has been doing pattern paper for quite a while. Yes, and you could definitely trim off some of the leaves if you don't want them all. I honestly didn't mind it because I kind of like some of the height. You could also instead fill it with maybe some more of the individual cherries instead of the thicker or the, the trio. And then I am going to just add... Maybe we'll just do the, I need to stamp one more for one of these because remember I messed all of them up at the beginning. Let's do that. And then let's go ahead and add our second one to the second card. Thank you, Mono and Hughes. Thank you, Susan and Kathleen. I'm glad you guys love it. It's always fun when you can take products from lots of different companies and mix and match them, and they work together. It's my favorite, favorite thing. Oh, good. Nancy says she's been watching on her TV, but she signed into her phone so she could say hello to everyone. I'm so glad. Hello. Yeah, that's the only bummer about the TV, isn't it? I love watching on the TV too, but let's 
let's go ahead and add our second tag. And we're just going to tie it right to this. Any kind of string. I just particularly like thin string. And for this, I thought like the little rustic kind of twine would be really cute. Thank you, Kelly, for reminding everyone to like and subscribe. All right. And there are our little tags. Now, if you don't want them to move around, like I kind of didn't want mine to totally move too much, I just put like a little liquid glue once I kind of have it where I like it. And that's going to help it stay put. Let me grab some card bases. I love pre-made card bases. These are all from Simon Says Stamp, but they're already cut and scored and they're out of nice heavyweight, 110 pound weight cardstock. And I'll add those extra cherries here in just one second. We'll let the glue set for a minute. And we're just going to pop that right there. Let's go ahead and grab these. And I like the little individual strawberries, strawberries, cherries. Goodness, Nicole. Um, I think they're kind of fun sitting out next to the basket. How many times have I said strawberries and I met cherries today, I wonder? Uh, there we go. Let's grab our second card base. Let's see. Yes, we don't actually probably need most of us. It's more of a want, always a want. <laughs> Start getting fruity, Denise said. Oh my gosh, you guys. That's so funny. I love it. And now I'm singing like I made up words to another song in my head. Does anyone else do that? All the time. So funny. Okay, would it be a finished card? Words are hard, Debbie said. Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> Sometimes they're harder for me than other times. We're going to grab some little red hearts and... We're going to finish our cards with some little hearts. I'm going to put one on the tag, and we'll just do a couple more up here. I like them in odd numbers the best. And of course, they're little red hearts because I love them. As everyone probably knows. I think that because this tag doesn't have as much room, I put it in the center of the O on that one. So we'll just pop it right there. And let's grab these remaining two hearts. And that is it. Just like that, we have a couple of cards made. You could definitely do many more by assembly line style creating. But here are our cherry cards we made today. And I do need one more cherry. I, I just like the two. So I'll stamp another one here in a minute. Sure would have been great if I had not messed up that all those cherries, huh? Let me move that really quick. Let me see. Music in our head all the time, Kelly said, <laughs> changes periodically. Always needs bling, Sherry says, absolutely. Okay. Jean, the Etsy shop is, 
Yes, I have it favorited. Let me go find it. My live went pretty quick today, so I'll find it for you really quick, if possible. While we're hanging out here, looking at the cards, I'll switch the camera around in a minute, not while I am not, <laughs> while, while I'm searching for that. If someone else has it, let me know before me. Oh, favorite shops. Okay, because I just ordered some of these for my friends not too long ago. It is Happy Kauai Supplies. And I will link that when we're done as well. Now I have to go shop and become fruity like Denise. Sherry says, oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> yes. You like the extra cherries outside of the basket, Laura says. Oh, thank you guys. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Wilma. I'm glad you guys liked these cards. Yes, all the cherries, all the time. Thank you. Did I miss any questions? If I did, please let me know. I do want to remind you, stay tuned on Monday. Pink Fresh Studio is doing um, a special fundraiser. They're releasing a product early um, for the Ukraine. Um, so definitely check that out because I believe all the proceeds are going to there. I will have an example probably on social. I have something else on my blog for Monday, but I will have some examples on social media. So check that out because it is a great set. Um, let me see. Thank you guys for joining me today. Karen says she loves her rainbow hearts. You're welcome, Karen. Um, yes, please remember to like. Um, let's see. Nancy, I don't know that much about the Hero Arts Weekend in April. <laughs> I will find out. What was your question? Because I probably missed it. Um, I, in fact, that's on my list of things to take care of today with Libby at Hero Arts. Yes. Um, let me see. Yes, Terry says she saw the basket die and knew she would want it. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. I'm waiting to see if I what the question was about hero art so I can answer it. Oh, my goodness. Snow, Sherry. No, no more snow. <laughs> yes. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, if you have any questions that I missed, definitely drop me a comment and I will try to, or I will get to that a little bit later today. Thank you. I will see you guys all next Friday. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you later. Bye. Mm -hmm. oh. Wrong button.